example, if knight d4, sorry. Так, 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 перезагрузити. Hello. Hello, uh, can everybody uh, hear me and see me? What about now? 
Okay, so uh, I have seen that Alexander told that Queen e7 was correct uh, defense uh, for Tal, but uh, okay, uh, uh, if uh, Bishop takes c6, uh, how black can play? Because, for example, if Queen takes c5, King h1, maybe. Okay, white has even Bishop d4 here. E takes d4, bishop takes d7, so this, this. White is clearly better. Okay, maybe black can uh, uh, survive somehow, but uh, for sure it's not easy. For example, if rook d7, rook d3 is coming with idea rook g3, so. Okay, maybe it's possible to defend, but. Uh, it's still a quite bad position for black, even after queen e7. But according to Alexander, uh, uh, queen g5 was even stronger than queen g3. Okay, totally possible. So, uh, I mean here. So instead of queen g3, queen g5. Okay, but maybe, maybe, maybe. But it's, it's uh, very far from obvious. As I understand, idea of h6, queen g6, and then white will have idea bishop d3 to disturb uh, his king. So, okay, probably queen e7 was better, but anyway, black is uh, still suffering. Mm -hmm. Yes. But rook d7, aha, rook d7, and again uh, Rashid, not Harry, to take. He played rook f2, excellent prophylactic move, because uh, so many players would take on c6 and, uh, and take on e5, but after this black has uh, defensive resources. So rook f2. White calmly want to improve his position because black cannot do anything. For example, after d4, white has several ideas. Even bishop c4 and rook f1 is very unpleasant. And rook f8 is threat or rook f7. So, so black uh, pawn center looks like uh, strong, but actually this is weak because there are many pins and uh, white pieces are incredibly active and also black has a permanent problem with his king. So rook f2, very smart move. Dobry večer, Valentin. Jak tebe spravi? Rook e8, and uh, again Rashid uh, not hurry, h3. So it's uh, excellent style. Prophylactic move. So rook f1 was uh, very natural after rook f2, rook df1, I mean, of course. But uh, uh, Rashid understands that rook is good enough on d1 as well, because uh, he's uh, e4 now, e4, white can take on c7 and take on d5. And so e4 now, it's not uh, a good idea for black. Sure. White is totally win pawn up and much better position. So Tal played bishop a8. It's uh, <laughs> okay. Uh, if uh, to play bishop e8, it's uh, it means that uh, he doesn't see any uh, any moves in this position. So okay, it's a really bad position, probably. But uh, what to suggest? Maybe queen c8 with idea to prepare bishop a6, but after bishop a6, white always has a4, so... Okay, maybe queen c8 was uh, best practical chances here, at least uh, idea, because bishop a8 is uh, no idea, so... For example, if now rook df1, bishop a6, and uh, a4, queen b7, okay, and... Okay, queen d3, it's very bad, <laughs> anyway, so... Okay, but bishop a8, bishop a4. So, Rashid not hurry. Now, bishop uh, 
rook f8. Rook f8 is proposition here, rook f8, okay, but after rook f8, white can do many things, probably it's possible, just take and queen f3 and then take on d5, at least this possible. And maybe m many other things is possible. Maybe bishop takes c6 as well, can be strong. So, okay, rook f8 probably not losing immediately, but uh, uh, surely doesn't help uh, black to solve uh, their problems. So, bishop a4, bishop b7, king h1. So, excellent sense of humor from Rashid. King h1. I want nothing. <laughs> Bishop a8. Very ridiculous. So, can somebody find uh, uh, any similar games uh, which Tal played? Bishop b7, Bishop a8, Bishop a7, Bishop b7. And only now, Rook f5. So, now. so fruit are, are ready, so it's time to take it and eat it, because uh, there, uh, this fruit already has enough, uh, ah, e4 now, e4 now, okay, take on c7 and take on d5, so it's an easy winning position. Yes, because uh, he was uh, also quite a good positional player, he understand uh, uh, very well uh, structures of King's Indian, of uh, also structures of uh, improved Stainitz defense in uh, in uh, Rui Lopez. I mean, a6, bishop a4, d6. Yes, yes, uh, Carto. Okay, so he played e4, rook d7, e2. Looks like contraplay, but this is illusion. This should be three check. This is very simple. If king goes, bishop takes g7 mate, so rook e6. This is desperation. Bishop takes g7. And Tal decide to resign. Of course, it was possible to play king e8 and allow bishop f7 mate. It was it would be more aesthetic finish of this game, but probably Tal was uh, not so wasn't so happy to create some aesthetic pictures in this moment. Yes, yes, we considered uh, games of um, uh, match between Morphy and Anderson, and I can confirm that Morphy was excellent positional player. And very flexible player, so he felt uh, also not only attack but uh, also uh, a counter attack. In some games, uh, his style remember me Victor Korchno. It uh, was amazing. Okay, so it's uh, quite late, but uh, for today, um, Karpov games. Um, it's of course uh, any play, uh, player or also great player we can consider but uh, for, for today I have plan to show games between Tatal and Nishmedinov so uh, in other day I can uh, collect another game so for today I'm uh, probably uh, so my plan was uh, to annotate four games but uh, uh, rook end game, okay, also possible, but I think uh, I will uh, annotate for today only two games. So this game I finish it, and uh, next game between uh, Nishmedinov and Tal, which uh, Rashid lost with White. It was Sicilian. Uh, he lost, but he had a very promising position, so it was. This line, uh, knight c3 played Rashid, queen c7. Mm. Of course, uh, instead of queen c7, black has several other moves. For example, b5 is possible, uh, d6 is possible, and uh, knight c6 is possible as well. But okay, queen c7 is 
normal A3. Okay, A3 is not the most popular move in this position. Uh, the most popular move here is bishop d3 to prepare a castle or rookie one. Or after knight c6, white has choice to take on c6 is possible, or bishop e3 is possible as well. Okay, but uh, a3, this game he played, uh, I remember a, in that uh, moment uh, a3 was uh, not so popular move uh, now as well, but the uh, idea of Nishbedinum was to play uh, g4 as soon as possible. So, for example, after knight f6, g4. So, and, but uh, now, uh, one of the most popular line in the Taimanov system is knight c6, knight c3, queen c7, g4 now. So, Rashid would be happy to see it. So, his ideas was developed. And so, I, a3 is idea to prepare g4 and prevent bishop b4. So, for example, after b5, g4 is possible. Bishop b7, bishop g2, and then... Okay, it's a complicated position for, for sure. It's, of course, after b5, white has uh, several other moves, but uh, according to my memory, Rashid played g4 here. So, b5 was logical uh, option as well. So, uh, so what Tal played? Here possible. I know it's possible. That's true. Bishop e2 is also possible. So g3 is also possible. But g3, uh, if play g3, according to uh, bishop b4 is good for black. With idea if knight d2 to play knight f6 and uh, if bishop g2 to play bishop e7 to be ready for hedge hawk system, d6. Less precise, for example, to play castle, because white can uh, play not castle. So castle, bishop e7 is okay for black, because d6 is coming. But uh, after castle, bishop e4 is unpleasant. But now black cannot reach uh, hedge hawk structure. So after knight d2, knight f6, and uh, after bishop g2, bishop e7 is a good move. And then d6 is coming and black has good version of hedge hawk. If bishop d2, it's important to start with knight f6, uh, not allow queen g4. Uh, after bishop g2, knight c6, knight takes c6, d takes c6, and black is prepared for e5. So this is, um, it's equality according to theory. Well, so a3 played Rashid. Let's see. Knight c6 played Tal, bishop e3, knight f6. Again, uh, black always has choice. Uh, uh, so b5 is quite natural move. Many games was played with b5. Uh, knight g7 is another standard one in, in this uh, variation, but not here, because uh, now knight g7 is tactical mistake because knight b5 is coming. And after a takes b5, knight takes b5, queen a5, uh, bishop d2, and then knight b6, knight takes f7, knight h8. So this is uh, bad. Uh, same uh, trick uh, we can see in totally different opening, I will show you. So after e4, knight f6, black wants to play Alechin defense. After e5, knight d5, knight c3, d5, e5, d4, knight e2. Now, probably the best for black is knight g4, after f4, c5, something like this, to prepare knight c6. If h3, knight h6, if g4, uh, knight f6, maybe possible, some contraplay. Uh, but, uh, so knight g4 probably the best move for black, but uh, there is an uh, interesting line, knight e4, c3, knight e4 objectively is dubious line for black, knight g4 is better, at least in my opinion, or according to my knowledge. So, 
So knight e4. Uh, but I want to show trick. So c3. D takes c3. Looks like losing move because queen a4 and uh, queen takes e4 by just win the piece, but it's not totally true. Okay, uh, white is better here after simply b takes c3 because of a strong center. But uh, queen a4 is possible but doesn't win because black has knight d7. And uh, after queen takes e4, knight c5 is coming. This is problem for white. <laughs> Suddenly knight d3 and uh, f2 and b2 pawns are very weak. Black has uh, sufficient contraplay. Well, for example, if uh, queen, queen c2, knight d3, I don't know if take the rook because uh, knight in bad situation, but black can at least uh, to make draw. And also another important variation, queen d4, knight d3 check, king d1, queen takes d4, knight takes d4. Now knight takes f2, knight h1, it's a risky line, but c takes b2, it's more logical now. Bishop takes b2, knight takes b2, king c2, knight a4. This is important that white cannot win the piece. So, but bishop b5, bishop d7, e6, f takes e6, knight f3. Now black has material advantage, but white has some positional compensation. Uh, but okay, uh, of course, uh, here for white is better to take this knight. This is strongest move here. And, uh, if uh, black take d takes c3 with idea bishop e3 and long castle, white is better. If knight c5, queen d1, smart move. Uh, not allow knight takes e5 because d4 is coming. So black should play it, uh, something like c6, d4, knight e6, knight f3, knight b6, and then knight c7. It's, uh, it's uh, very similar to queen's gambit accepted, I mean this line. d4, d5, c4, d takes c4, e4, knight f6, e5, knight d5, bishop c4, knight b6. Same structure. Okay, there is question, uh, is there anyone who reminds me Tal or Nizhmedinov? But okay, Tal and Nizhmedinov uh, wasn't the uh, same players, so it's, it's very difficult to, uh, to say. And uh, also I explained it once uh, during uh, my translation in Twitch that uh, I don't know Tal very well yet, so I don't know whom it's possible to compare with him I don't know I need to think okay maybe somewhere I will have idea but at the moment I I'm not ready to answer your question so let's come back to to the game which uh, Bishop takes f7 here with check. Uh, in which moment bishop takes f7 with check? Sorry. Ah, uh, here bishop takes f7. No, no. Jobava like Nishmedin. Okay, maybe. Maybe, maybe, but. Uh, can you ask Badur about this, what he's thinking? No, bishop takes f7, not here. Bishop uh, takes f7, it's possible uh, to play here. So this, this, now knight g5 is possible, and this is funny draw. Or uh, another playable variation uh, to play bishop takes f7 here, knight g5. Okay, maybe Shirov it's uh, similar uh, to Tal. Uh, he was uh, one of uh, pupil uh, of Tal, so his style is uh, quite similar. So probably Shirov is the best uh, uh, example if uh, compare somebody with Tal. Uh, who is uh, the best if compare with Nishmedino? I don't know. It's, um, maybe Bologan. 
but I'm not totally sure. So um, this this is theory queen e2. If queen takes e5, bishop e3. White has a good compensation for the pawn. Very important to not forget that uh, black king is moved before. So uh, uh, black has no possibility to prepare long or short castle easily because the king moved. So this is was game. Yusup of Portish, for example. Okay, so let's come back to Sicilia. A3, knight c6, bishop e3. So modern theory is g4. So many. Okay, bishop e3, it's, uh, it's possible as well, of course. So knight f6, so b5 is alternative, and bishop e2 played Rashid. Uh, again, g4, it's uh, possible to play, and uh, also f4 is possible to play, so white has many alternatives. So f4, after d6, bishop e2 to prepare g4. It's possible, but bishop e2 played immediately. Uh, chess, okay, uh, but uh, thank you, but uh, I'm not considering my uh, level in checkers uh, um, same to Nizhmedinov level here, it's especially in Russian, uh, in Russian Shashkach, in Russian checkers, okay, he was much, much stronger than me. Okay, bishop e2, so uh, if black plays uh, bishop e7, f4. This is popular system, if d6 to play g4. But uh, also logical for black to play after f4 castle. And now if e5, knight e8, and d6 is coming, black has contraplay, and uh, g4 now it's uh, not so f uh, strong because black has d5. And after e5, knight e4, and uh, rook d8 is coming, black has uh, good contraplay here. So uh, somewhere for white is better to play f4, um, more early to force black to, uh, to play d6 and uh, after this uh, to prepare g4. Not immediately because now g4 is bad, knight takes d4 is coming. If queen takes d4, knight takes g4, and if bishop takes d4, e5. So he immediately not possible, but bishop e2, if bishop e7, g4, and white has promising position. But okay, so bishop e4 probably... Uh, uh, Rashid wanted to play something like this, but Tal played bishop d6. So he doesn't want to allow f4 at all. Uh, knight b5 uh, doesn't work uh, probably because this this queen a5 check is coming. After b4, bishop takes b4 and queen takes a1 and White is losing material, and after bishop d2, it's important that black has bishop b4, and in this position, white hardly can have uh, sufficient compensation for the piece. But okay, so queen d2 played Rashid, very logical, and now knight b5 can be threat, probably. And also, uh, he wants to prepare a long castle. Okay, I don't know. Uh, okay, for, for example, of course, if uh, black uh, doing pass, uh, something like h6, knight b5 is uh, winning because after this, this. Mm. Queen c7 and bishop d6 are under attacks. It's, it's obvious, but uh, if. Uh, Castle, I'm not sure is that knight b5 works uh, because well, maybe it works uh, even here, knight b5, because now uh, 
White has no threat to take with check, uh, but maybe it's uh, strong enough uh, anyway, because if knight takes e4, knight takes c7, knight takes d2, knight a8, and knight will go back via b6. So, so knight b5, it's uh, very concrete threats. That's true. Of course, uh, for Tal was not... Uh, Difficult to see such a threat, and he plays bishop e5, and as a standard uh, move, but uh, f4, Mish Medinov played. He is ready to give pawn for very strong initiative. This is very typical idea for, uh, for Taimano variation, for example, also in this line. Uh, it's possible. And, well, for example, this, this, this this b5 f4 is possible and now according to theory the best for black is to play bishop b7 because if knight takes d4 bishop takes d4 queen takes f4 rook f1 white has very strong initiative if queen takes h2 queen f3 is coming so this is extremely risky bishop b7 is better and this is game Ivanchuk Gdansky you can See from European Junior Championship. Okay, so um, let's come back. So bishop e5. Of course, white can uh, play calmly. So uh, nothing wrong with g3 to prepare f4. So totally possible idea. But uh, Rashid played uh, in the most active style. And f4, aggressive move. So he is ready to sacrifice pawn against Tal. So brave decision. Queen c7, e5, knight b5. More or less forced, now white has choice. So he, he took on d5. Another possibility was knight e4 to prepare knight d6. Okay, but it's not so obvious. White has compensation, of course, but... Uh, Okay, knight takes d5, it's a more safe choice for white, because white always can take pawn back, and uh, his bishop is much more active than black bishop, so he takes d5 and long castle. b5. Oh, it's easy to see that um, Tal is suffering, because um, material, okay, uh, pawn is not important here, but uh, he has uh, many problems and uh, White has uh, many promising plans. Okay, the simple list is to play bishop f3 and take on d5, but this is, uh, this is uh, play for draw. So, Nishmetino totally correctly estimate his position like better and uh, playing more aggressively. So, rook f1. Bishop b7. I'm not sure. Maybe castle was uh, more precise. Who knows? But I played bishop b7. Maybe castle was also possible. Bishop b7. Bishop h5. Ah, sorry. He played e6 immediately. Okay, now again white has uh, many prom promising ideas. So it's possible to play positionally in this position try to attack in king's land. Well, for example, to play rook f5 is possible. Or bishop d3, it's uh, logical. If uh, black uh, will castle, white can start uh, queen h4 or rook f4 to prepare rook h4. So white has many possibilities, but uh, e6 was choice of uh, Rashid. Um, not an obvious choice. Also, queen before can be considered not allow short castle so easily because queen takes e5 is uh, probably 
Losing uh, of the simple Bishop D3 and Rook E1 is coming if uh, Long Castle Rook takes F7. So Queen B4 was uh, interesting alternative. Yes, yes, Rapport prepared uh, Taimano uh, variation and uh, he played very good. But in first round he suffered because uh, Duda played Bishop F4 line, very extremely rare line. Very interesting to see. So, but okay, e6, very concrete choice. Now, black has a tactical problem, but at least uh, they have strong center and uh, pawn up at the moment. So, rook f8, uh, it's more or less obvious that black will try to play a long castle and bishop h5 played Rashid and bishop g4 looks like interesting alternative here because now obviously black cannot castle long because after bishop e6 and queen takes f8 white is winning so rook takes f8 rook takes rook f7 check so after bishop g4 so what to do so bishop takes e6 is very concrete threat threat uh, rook c8 is possible but uh, white can uh, just play c3 and uh, bishop takes e6 still uh, threat queen e7 maybe but uh, after queen uh, now black is prepared for long castle but white can play rook d1 and um, still uh, seems like uh, Black is in uh, trouble. For example, if play f5, white has idea to take and take on b7. And black has a uh, big problem with his uh, uh, king, so objectively they are just losing. So bishop g4 was a very interesting alternative in my opinion. And I don't know what uh, how Tal would defend in this. Probably something like queen e7, if rook d e1, king d7, something like this. But uh, okay, black uh, is not losing immediately. Even somewhere have threat rook g8, but uh, it's very shaky position. But okay, uh, it's uh, problem. It's not uh, all also easy to play such position with white because very big uh, choice and many tempting possibilities. Uh, also, rook f3, for example, it's a logical possibility idea to have rook c3 opportunity. For example, if long castle, rook c3 is possible. If bishop c6, a4 is coming, and suddenly. Black has problem with his king uh, after Long Castle already. So, but okay, Bishop h5, direct move, white is attacking the pawn, and uh, Rook takes f7 and Queen g8 is threat, thank you. So, Tal played castle, so he is ready to give pawn back, and uh, but uh, he wants to have safe. Uh, King and uh, okay, if uh, it will be end game in the board, so black has good chances to survive. Rook d e1 played Rashid, maybe it was possible just simply take. Take here. Bishop takes e6 as threat, so king b8 is more or less forced, and just take and try to play this position with pawn up. If rook, ah, but now rook f8, sorry. Rook. Ah, also rook f1. It's not so obvious that this pin is uh, black can realize somehow because queen g7 is coming. But uh, if uh, bishop g6, queen takes h7 and rook h8, and this is draw. Okay, but rook d1 played Rashid, king b8. Rook takes f7, rook takes f7, queen takes f7. Again, bishop takes f7 looks like a good alternative because uh, queen uh, on g7 is in strong position. Black is uh, suffering. Even some uh, end games like this uh, can be unpleasant for black. But uh, after bishop c8, um, I'm probably white has something more aggressive than uh, queen e5. Although rook d7 is threat, so probably ah maybe queen d4 is possible. I like this. 
because if queen takes f7, queen b6 check is cut. So white can play this position with queens and uh, with such a weak uh, black king, it's uh, surely a good idea. If rook d6, for example, bishop h5, and uh, this position is very, very bad for black because, okay, not losing yet, but uh, rook c6, okay, black can try to fight here, but uh, white is much better. Okay, but Rashid took with queen, so a little bit strange decision for me, frankly speaking, because uh, without uh, queens, uh, it's more easy to defend for black. For example, they can they uh, could take and play bishop c8, and white cannot take immediately on e6 because of rook e8. But Tal decided to play queen c8, bishop c8. And now, again, uh, king d2. Very strange move. So, okay. Uh, so, okay. King d2 is normal move if uh, there are no queens on the board. But with queens, it's um, it's strange move. But okay, probably. Uh, so queen f6 looks like very normal move and uh, avoid to exchange of queens and try to attack uh, black pawn e6 with bishop g4. Okay, probably Rashid was afraid of d4 and uh, with idea d3, but um, I don't know how convincing it is uh, because... Um, even the rook e4 can be considered, in my opinion. If d3, I can play calmly c3. So, illustrations that white has no danger, always possible to play queen e5 or queen uh, uh, f4, but even c3, okay. Uh, so, d2, king d1. And, uh, So I believe that uh, d2 pawn is weakness here, so because uh, black cannot uh, organize attack. And white is ready, for example, after bishop b7 to play rook d2, and uh, then uh, queen takes d rook d4, and queen takes d4, and then white will take d2 pawn and has uh, excellent winning chances. So, so queen f6, I think, was excellent idea, and for black was better to exchange. The, but, but but okay, after now king d2 is possible. But okay, king d2, rook f8, and uh, rook f2, and then rook takes h2. Okay, black still suffering because if rook takes a, h2, bishop takes d5. But uh, okay. Bishop f5, uh, bishop e4, okay, so still white has chances to win. So king d also possible king d1 to avoid check from f2. Rook d6, rook e5, and rook h5. So, But after bishop c8, uh, queen f6, in my opinion, was the most logical idea in this position. Because uh, if you have question... Um, to change or not change uh, queens, please attract your attention for kings. If uh, uh, which king is weaker? Now it's obvious that uh, black king is much weaker than white king. So for black is uh, good uh, to exchange queens. For white is not so good. Of course, uh, if uh, there are no other things, for example, if white is winning pawn e6 uh, with changing of queens, it's a different story. But uh, if uh, there are no material uh, advantages, so uh, for white is better not exchange queens. So in my opinion, queen f6 was the best choice in this position. And white is much better. King d2, very strange move. So, but still, uh, the, uh, no end game in the board. So queen a five. So Tal is trying to do something, but king d one. So okay, maybe not so bad because Tal uh, 
came back and uh, now again white has possibility to play, play queen f6 ah he played queen f6 queen d6 okay so he reached uh, what uh, uh, i explained it is that uh, pretty good for him but uh, tal is trying to defense Okay, I am fighting, I am trying to show you beauty of chess. And, and I am analyzing now games between Rashid and, and Mikhail. So black has some contraplay. For example, if bishop g4, e5 is coming. And, uh, 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 if I, uh, not because queen d6 with check. So, it's important that this check. Uh, so rook f8 is uh, probably better. And now after queen d4, black has e5. This is important trick. But uh, queen h6 is possible and white is better here. Also rook f2, it's necessary to consider black can hope for some contraplay. Oh, okay, but rook f2, bishop e6. Bishop takes e6. Queen c5 or queen c6 also. So black has also some targets to attack. Okay, so here, interesting moment. So Tal played queen a5 and queen c7. So black has no ideas. At the moment, queen takes f7, it's not threat because they have problem with e6 pawn. So Maybe now queen f6 is not the best move. Maybe it was more logical to play something like uh, rook e3, for example. Maybe it was possible. Because uh, as I uh, explained it, if d4, rook e4, d3, c3, uh, d pawn can be weakness. So. So rook e3 was interesting. But okay, queen f6 obviously is not a mistake. So queen d4, rook f8, rook e5 played. Some kind of blockade, bishop d7. But okay, now black is consolidated. Anyway, white is better because... Uh, Because king, king is weak. And this is permanent factor. But Tal is fighting, so if bishop takes h7, rook h8. So we can continue this line. Rook takes this, this, this bishop h5. And it looks like black has many checks. At least black has uh, draw. Maybe there is made somewhere as well. Okay, so this is not a wise choice for, for whites. But uh, okay, uh, what played Rashid? He played rook g5. It's possible, but uh, very wise choice. Uh, ah, so black probably wants to play bishop g6 and exchange the bishops. So maybe queen e3 was very wise practical choice uh, to prevent idea bishop g6 and keep pressure and maybe rook f6 but after rook f6 even g4 is possible to prepare g5 so why it's still better but rashid played rook g5 rook f7 also also here white is much better Queen e5 played Rashid. Okay, it's move 32. Uh, very uh, likely that uh, it could be a time trouble for Rashid. I don't know. I cannot check it. But uh, if uh, you see position, white is clearly better. Probably the most natural move was to play king c1 here. Just improve king. Uh, in future, white can consider idea b4, king b2. Also, h4, logical move to 
to have rook protected and uh, probably in future white has idea h5, h6, rook g7. So white is much better. All end games, all, or almost all end games is better for white. And, but uh, so it's difficult for black. But uh, Nishmedinov to play the queen e5 immediately. And now situation is changed. Uh, we have end game and the board. And black is ready to improve his king with queen queen h8. In which moment queen h8? Ah, now queen h8. Ah, queen h8. Interesting idea. Yes, interesting idea as well. So queen c5, queen takes e8, queen g1, king d2, and black has no perpetual check. White king can escape via c3, b3. Okay, so, so I will show you this. So king d2, and then, for example, rook f2, king c3, and black has nothing. Okay, so king h8, queen h8. Interesting idea. Yes. Okay, maybe queen e7 is possible. But okay, uh, even just h4, white is clearly better. Not winning yet, but clearly better. So queen h8, yes, I agree, it's uh, very logical. So queen e5, it's a little bit modest move, but uh, anyway, white has good position, and at least without any risk. So king d2, king c6. Natural moves, bishop g6, this. rook g5. Okay, so rook endgame has uh, reputations that uh, usually it, uh, it is drawn. <laughs> if you see rooks, rook endgame, and this endgame, um, maybe not exceptions, objectively drawish, but uh, if uh, if somebody can play for win here, more likely it is white, not black. But of course, uh, black has his trumps as well. Also, we can attract uh, attention that it's move 38, so probably Rashid could be on uh, time trouble. Objectively, okay, for example, h4 looks like very logical move to prepare, yes, uh, uh, rook g5 in better version. For example, if rook c7, rook g5. And if black takes on c2, it's more or less obvious that white pawns are much stronger. Yes, so. So, okay, maybe rook f7, black can play rook g5, rook f6, and just defend this position. White is better, but probably black can survive here. Okay, but rook g5, not the best. Strange move, because uh, allowed uh, e5, but surely it's not losing move, so rook g7. Hmm. Uh -huh. And uh, Nizhmedinov lost uh, this position in several moves. Um, okay. Uh, h4, move 40. And now white has problem with his rook. Already. He played h5, and after h5, he's losing. So, probably. But even uh, without h5, already white has some problem because um, rook is bad on g5. But, um, but, well, maybe it's possible to defend in this position. So, for example, to play c3, king f6, uh, something like um, rook g4, probably, to prepare a4. If king f5, rook g5. So, okay, g5, g5 is possible, but after g5, white can do something, uh, probably king f2, for example. So, okay, black is better, but um, it's... Uh, it's not necessary to lost this. Well, okay, uh, uh, I don't know also about pawn endgame. Is it uh, is it losing for white? I'm not sure that this is losing for white. Uh, 
for example, king f3, king h5, for example, this, this, this. Ah, e4, so it can be a tsuk somewhere if king f2, king h3. Uh, yes, so this is losing polite because, uh, yes, this is losing. So, okay, rook g5 was bad move, and uh, after, okay, maybe now uh, also he lost important tempi, maybe uh, instead of uh, h4 was much better to play rook g4, to activate rook and uh, to prepare rook h4, so h4 square can be useful for rook, but it was move 40, so it's, uh, it's important. So h4, it's bad move, objectively. But it was move 40, probably he had uh, only a few seconds for this move. And after king e6, now he's uh, in trouble because rook in bad situation. But uh, as I see, white still has uh, good chances for draw. After rook g4, for example. Okay, so uh, my proposition was c3, king, if king f6, rook g4, if g5, and uh, not go to, um, to pawn endgame, but play king f2. If uh, king f5, my idea to play rook b4 and uh, try to protect this position. Okay, black is better, surely, but uh, for example, if rook h7, I have a4, so black has, uh, white has good chances to survive in this position. But Nezhmedino probably was uh, very uh, uh, disappointed, or probably uh, also possible that he didn't realize it, that he played already. Uh, uh, 40 moves uh, because uh, it could be a strong time trouble so probably he played h5 just with hand and after king f6 it looks like uh, he's just losing so he cannot uh, defend uh, as I explained in this uh, pawn endgame is losing for white what uh, was White king on h3 and pawn on a4. White can go king is uh, 3, king takes g3, c4. Uh, so, so he play, uh, played b3. Okay, uh, he played b3, king f5, and after c4, uh, he just resigned. Okay, uh, but uh, how you, your proposition is... Uh, to defend, uh, so uh, go to h3 with skin, but uh, I I can prevent this probably. This looks like losing endgame because, uh, as I explained, it e4 black will play and then king g4 and then uh, it will be a tsuk for white. So I don't see idea. Okay, uh, b3, for example, e4, king is 3 king, this, 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 for example. Well, black, uh, black is winning here, because uh, king h3, king g4, for example, this, 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 king h3. Even if black to move in this position, king g4, king g2, e3, and... That's over. So Rashid had excellent position, but lost probably in time trouble. But anyway, we uh, had pleasure. Ah, King. Ah, aha, aha, understand what you mean. Aha, to have C4 idea. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So B3, King G5, King F3, aha, if E4, King E3, if King G4, C4. But okay, if, uh, okay, Black probably can play uh, A5 firstly. How White can defend this? Next move, if White uh, playing with Pawn, uh, A4 is coming, so... 
If white plays with king, king g4 is coming. No, I don't think that white can survive here. King f5 is also possible, but after g4, I prefer to have king h4. Yes, but white cannot pass. So black has, for example, if black to move now, king h5 is possible anyway. Uh, white uh, will have Tsuk Tsvank in this position. So pawn endgame looks like totally losing for Rashid. Okay, so for today I will finish my program. If uh, uh, in next video I will consider uh, two other games between Rashid uh, and uh, and Mikhail. For today I think it's enough because it's too late and uh, I need to sleep. Uh, thanks for your attention and uh, I hope we will try. to continue understand chess together. Goodbye, good night and good morning for somebody, I don't know. Thank you.